Welcome back, Wastelanders, to another Fallout 76 daily video with me, Blackwell TV. Hope you're doing well today. Um, on Wednesday, the 11th of August, it's just after 7 p.m. here in the United Kingdom. Um, what time is that, Eastern? Just after 2 p.m. Eastern. So um, the store and everything's updated already. Updated about an hour and 17 minutes ago. So we'll take a look at certain things. Um, an hour and 17 minutes ago would be the Daily Ops update. The store updated a couple of hours ago. Right, let's jump in. Just check, just check it out. See what's going on. Um, don't forget, Twitch link is over there. If you want to join our community, feel free to do so. Twitch.tv forward slash Blackwell TV. And the schedule is below there as well. Okay, hopefully you've read that because it disappeared. If you haven't read it, then pause that video and go back and have a look. Right. Uh, let's have a look here. So utility, we've got some free items. Um, let's take a look. We've got free caps for any of your characters. Free caps is free caps, right? Don't turn that down. There's no need to turn that down. So there we go. We've also got a sun hat for 150 atoms. Nice big pink hat. If you want it for your characters, uh, then pick it up. 150 atoms for that one. It's not too bad. It's not bad. Hopefully it can make some of your outfits look uh, a little bit more complete. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, you know, you, you're doing your sun lounger thing. Maybe you're doing your, your wavy willards wet and wild, and, and therefore you want a sun hat to... Uh, to role play, I don't know. Um, yep, this this page hasn't changed. Um, this change, nope, this hasn't changed either, and neither has this changed. So nothing else has changed here um, in regards to the store. So let's pick a character and jump in. We are on Anita on Straddle Q. Let's go there. Let's go adventure mode. Let's load in. So um, there's a new store page. Um, document that Bethesda have announced. Um, they do it every week, so it's not that exciting. Um, it's essentially just outlining what is in the store this week. Um, they do it every week, as, as I say. Let's see if we can head over to the um, to the web browser and take a look at it. Remember, I'll put the link to this in the description below. But it's Atomic Shop Weekly Update, August 10th to 17th. It outlines basically what's free, what's available, and what will be changing in the um, in the daily sale as well. So uh, it's got the Way Willard stuff in there. It's got the Camp Bundles stuff in there. Um, and here we are, look. So the blue Brahmin grill has come and gone. The floppy sun hat's in the store at the moment. We're going to get the space backpack next, then the winter vending machine. Then the Candy Claws skin for the Mole Miner Gauntlet, Rustic Fountain, and the Garahan Extractor Excavator Power Armor Paint, followed by the uh, the Secret Service Bobblehead Display. Apparently, the Secret Service Bobblehead Display is available all week if you've got Fallout first. We haven't seen it because we don't have it uh, at the moment. I've taken a step back from you know investing in Fallout because um, financially, I ain't got the money for it, so... That's, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, as, to, as a Twitch streamer, uh, they're sort of tightening the the uh, the parameters for how much you can earn as a, as a content creator. So we've set up our, our coffee link here. So if you do want to donate to the channel, want to help with the running of the cost of the show, um, go to coffee.com forward slash Blackwell TV. At the top, we've got a couple of donators there that have already donated. So, um, so yeah, feel free to do that if you want to contribute. I'll put the coffee link right there in the description down there. Okay, um, let's take a look at what have we got today. It's uh, my little black book here. We've taken a look at the store. That updates every day, pretty much. It's Wednesday, so we're looking at the dailies. We're looking at the daily ops as well. Minerva is not in game at the moment, so no point looking for her because she's not in the game. We've managed to do all our weeklies today on the stream earlier. So that's great news. Um, the, the dailies have refreshed, so we'll be taking a look at some of these. Um, yeah, let's take a look. So build anything in a workshop or a camp, zero or five, nice and easy. If you are doing the weeklies as well. Um, oh, maybe it was a daily yesterday, building stuff in a workshop or a camp. That would make sense, I suppose. Um, we're selling something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, Charleston Landfill's there. Let's have a look around. <sighs> Defend Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take Charleston Landfill. 
if we can. Obviously, if it's not too difficult to do. Um, and then we'll place five items down and that will be that one on the way. Um, KS was mentioning earlier today on the Twitch stream about Secret Service armor pieces. Now, this is important information. Um, KS is one of our sort of regular supporters on, on the YouTube channel and uh, on, on the Twitch channel as well. You may see him uh, knocking about in the comments. Um, mad props to them. Absolutely out outstanding, actually. They're, uh, they're on screen up there as well. KS donated to the channel as well. So mad props going out there. Um, Secret Service armor... It costs less materials to craft another legendary than to re-roll um, at an, a legendary, um, an armor workbench. So we're going to take a look at that, I guess, in a little bit. Um, I don't want this video to be too long because it's Wednesday. We don't normally have that much content on the Wednesday. So we'll get this out of the way and then we'll see what we can do. So we'll claim this workshop. We're going to place five items down. Doesn't matter what ones. And that will be that daily out of the way. And we'll drink my tea because I can. You want to see what cup I've got? It says top dog and it's a pug with a top hat. You're welcome. Go buy one. Mm. It's got a top tea in there as well. Right. Nice work. Thank you. So we will go, you know what, stash boxes. I'll do it. Right, so that's that sword. For some reason, copper squat is done. Um, let's have a think. What do we need? We need... An armor workbench. But also, we need a character that has the ability to craft legendaries. We don't even have the materials to do that. So we're going to fast travel up to... Uh, to our house. We might have to switch a character to uh, one of our mains to see what the, uh, what the damage is on that, actually. <laughs> Let's have a look here. So we've spawned at our home. That bear is our pet. The old pet. Pet bear. Hi there. Hello. Into the vault quarter as we go. This is, you know, it's not a complete finished article or anything. To be fair, all I've done is I've started working on a crafting room. And then um, there's another room at the back which has all the buff items in it or games and stuff. So, so yeah, this is just a crafting room so far. All the crafting benches in. It's quite nice. It's not the worst. Um, so we need an armor workbench. That's what this one is here. So first of all, we need to know if we can make stuff. Um, and we can't make any Secret Service stuff at all. Right. So this only works on Secret Service because Brotherhood Recon Armor and Covert Scout Armor by default don't require legendary modules, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto another character and take a look at them instead. So we'll go on Donkey. That's our main. And I'm hoping that that's already at um, Tasteland, which is our vault. Might not be, but we'll see. Um, we'll also get back onto the dailies as well to sort of Make sure you guys know what we are looking to do in the next 24 hours to get those dailies done. You've got about 22 hours now. Right. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Never mind. Eh? That's how you know this is live. <sighs> you can find me on what? Uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. I think they're the main channels that I run at the moment, so um, links in the description below. We've also got Discord if you want to join us there as well. Um, okay. I was going to go for another... I was going to go and make an armor workbench, but we'll probably be attacked from outside, so we'll head inside. I don't mind the loading screen, and then we will jump in. And it's loaded? Yeah, good. Wow, we don't normally see that. Okay, so crafting. We need Secret Service armor. Let's work with the chest piece, right? So for one chest piece, you're looking at adhesive, leather, legendary module times one, plastic, rubber, and steel. Okay, so we're going to make that. And there's, those are the materials that we've used to get that, okay? Um, now, 
if you're not happy with that one, yeah, we got a one star there. You can obviously re-roll on it. So if you re-roll, it's going to use up five legendary cores and five legend, no, three legendary modules. So what KS was saying earlier today was, okay, this will guarantee you a three star, but if the three star isn't what you want, then you're going to re-roll again and you're going to use up more materials that are legendary, whereas you could simply just craft another one for a lot less materials. You've got one legendary module being used instead. And you might get a three star on that one anyway. So instead of going for that re-roll and re-roll and re-roll, you could just literally make more and more and more uh, chest pieces until you get the one you want. In addition to that, I want to add the idea that if you've got multiple, as soon as you re-roll, you lose the chance to scrap that previous, right? So you're not going to recoup any of your materials back if you're doing a re-roll. Now, if you've crafted a bunch of chest pieces like this, at least you can get some of those materials back when you take it to a, to a legendary exchange machine and script them. So there's a couple of good benefits there for the Secret Service. It only works on the Secret Service armor. All the other armor types you can make without legendary modules. So bear that in mind. Um, but for Secret Service armor, you don't want to be re-rolling. You want to be just crafting a new one each time. All right, it, it just uses up a lot less materials and you can recoup some of those materials back. So KS, thank you for pointing that out. I just wanted to add a little bit more onto that because, well, I've had a thought, I've had a thought process and I think about it. So, so yeah, really great advice on that one. Um, yeah, amazing stuff. Let's just see what we got on those anyway, just off the cuff. I don't think I need a Secret Service chest piece, but we've just rolled four of them. Uh, we got a Nocturnal one star. We got a Ghoul Slayer's two star with agility. We got an auto stim three star with uh, plus one perception and break slower. And we got a Ghoul Slayer's one star as well. So, you know, at least if we don't like these, we can scrap them all at the exchange machine, get some of those uh, components back, some of them scripts at least. Um, yeah, let's have a look actually. I don't think any of those will fit any of my builds I'm looking at. I've got a set one, which is secret service, but it's all unyielding. I've got an auto stim piece as well, which I'm kind of okay with. I've got two auto stim pieces. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll switch one of these out then. We don't necessarily need both of those working. All right, that's fine. For now, let's jump back into the dailies. So buy an item two, buy an item from or sell an item to another player. Uh, for this one, you just need to find a vendor with a little V for vendor. So uh, um, a player's camp with a V for vendor. The other icon means they've got a vault. So uh, that's what those icons mean. Go there and buy some ammunition or something like that. And uh, that'll chip that one off nice and easy. Um, the daily operation is decryption. So it's the kill a wave of enemies, kill a boss. Kill a wave of enemies, kill a boss. Kill a wave of enemies, kill a boss. Do that three times. And then after each boss, you have to disable the radio. Um, it's that. It's in West Tech. Should be nice and easy to do. Target slow down. T slow targets down on attack with deadly armor piercing attacks. So you could do um, your ranged attacks on that one, stealth, sneak, all that stuff. That'd be quite nice. It's a slow, um, it's a small, sorry, it's a small venue for the daily ops there. So it should be okay to do. We've done ours um, on our main, but we'll be doing um, time trial Thursday tomorrow and it will be this collection of um, parameters that we'll be working on our alt account. So that'll be quite interesting for everyone to get involved with. Cool. Complete an event, so we're about to probably uh, defend our settlement. Oh, we switched servers, didn't we? So that's blown that one out. That's fine. Um, defend a settlement. Census violence is quite a cool little event to do nowadays. Um, fertile soils up. I think you can probably trigger fertile soil yourself. A lot of people forget about that one. <laughs> I said soil yourself. Lol. Um, destroy robots. Easiest place to do that, white spring. Just go to white spring. And just have at it. Just destroy them all. Just destroy all the robots that you find. Um, they respawn infinitely. And you can just stand there killing them as they spawn. When you've done 15, bounce. Switch servers. They won't attack you ever again. Um, very simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it in a couple of minutes. Uh, as soon as we finish loading. And then we'll look at our other dailies. Uh, I could be cheeky and look at the other dailies while we're murdering robots. You know, <laughs> It is what it is. Um, for robots, though, you could go down to Watoga. You could go into any silo. You could wait for AWOL armaments to proc and then go there and kill some robots there. Um, 
where else is there? I mean, there's a whole bunch of robots at uh, Diachem, for example, Diachemical on the uh, east side of the map. Um, let me know where you go. For your robot murdering. Oh, itchy nose. If you are going to take on any of these little fellas, these sentry bots, you want to aim for the fusion core on the back. Like this. As you hit the fusion cores, they die pretty instantly. Make them a lot less of a problem. And then you aim for the friend. Aim for the fusion cores. They're dead. No worries. But just be aware that they do explode when they get killed. Like that. So there you go. Everything else should be quite easy to kill around here. You just got to commit to giving them some grief and then they'll aggro back. And then you aim for the... Uh, Aim for the fusion course. On protectrons, you want to shoot the arms off if you uh, if you want to see them explode. So I'm out of AP at the moment. I think I've got gun fu on, and it's not going to allow me to ever have AP. So say so stop shooting me for a second. I'm be able to shoot their arms off. This one. There we go, the arm's been shot off, that'll explode in a minute. Always fun to do if you have the patience to do it. Right, 6 of 15. There we go, more spawned. That's 7. Apparently that's eight, nine, ten. Take a look at these dailies. We need to level up. And it looks like our nuclear winter challenge is to survive. Very easy to do in nuclear winter to survive. You just spawn on the edge of the map. Spawn on the edge of the map and then where the hell did that go? Okay. And then just hide in a bush. Be a bush wookie. You know, be as bush. Okay. Squish, squash, squish, squash. And these are going to attack you forever, so... Best thing to do is just leave the area. Or switch servers, that kind of thing. Because if you hang around White Spring, they're just going to attack you until the end of time. There's a Sibmian there. There's one here as well. I don't mind getting some XP. My game's a bit janky at the moment. I think it's because we're recording at the same time. And White Springs is notoriously terrible for for computer streaming. Um, and, you know, it's just... The game slows down a bit. It's a bit horrible. It's kind of... It might be the reason why they took the sting out of uh, White Spring Nukes. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Like, if you head to White Springs and your frame rate slows right down and that's a really popular spot for nuking then yeah changes i guess needed to happen to sort of ease that pressure a little bit but yeah especially when people put their really big camps there it really slows down the frames and stuff right anyway going back to these so buying another item yep we've got that one under wraps uh completely daily up complete an event complete five of these to knock this one off as well level up and then it's only five minutes you need to survive a nuclear winter so load in do what you gotta do um spawn I, personally, I wouldn't team up for this one. Just jump in as a solo player, uh, hide in the corner, stay alive for five minutes. It doesn't have to be five minutes in one game. It could be across, you know, it could be one minute per game and you can play five matches. I mean, if you really, really want to, if you're that unfortunate, then yeah. And then that's out of the way. They're all done. Um, as I say, Minerva's not in game. Um, there's not really much else to say. Tomorrow there is going to be... It was Thursday, so maybe there'll be a community event. Let's have a... Boy, bear with me a sec. There we go. Um, where are we up to on here? Meet weeks on the 17th. Purveyor sale and double school weekend starts on the 12th. So maybe that's what we're seeing tomorrow. Um, 
if you don't know where we're looking here, we're on the third box down, which is August, and then the second one from the left, which is the August 12th to August 16th. Purveyor sale, 25% off and double score weekend. Maybe we're looking at that to, to start tomorrow. Um, it might not. It might not be up to date. We might see something else happen instead. It just happens. It just works. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's it from me. So for now, take care of yourselves. Peace and love to you and yours. And I shall catch you on the next one. See you later.